to another edition of Frankly Green Bay, brought to you by Baumeister. Hey, today we're talking about the Racine Zoo and the Lantern Festival. We're going to talk to a couple people. First, here's Chelsea. Hey, welcome to Frankly Green Bay. Today we're talking to the Racine Zoo, and they got a great event coming up, and Chelsea's here to talk about it. First of all, Chelsea, what do you do for Hi. the... Hey, Hi. hey, Hi. I went in for it, and I missed it. You ever do that? Yes. It's kind of uncomfortable. Let's talk about the new thing coming up, the Lantern Festival. Yeah. That sounds like a great idea. It is going to be just a great time. So the Lantern Festival, we um, partnered with Zhigong out of China, and they came about five weeks ago and they build everything from scratch. It's all made out of steel and then wrapped in silk. Uh, we have 26 scenes, over 300 lanterns. So this is something above and beyond the regular zoo hours also. Yes. What time and uh, when does this happen? Yes, so we close the zoo at 4 and then we reopen at 6. Then we turn on those lights and the, the zoo's just transformed. So from 6 to 9 on week nights and 6 to 10 on weekends. And we're going to have food, and we're going to have entertainment, we're going to have bars, we're going to have um, soda and hot chocolate for the kids. And <laughs> how do people get more information on how to get tickets for this? Absolutely. So they can go to RacineZoo.org, and keep, uh, we keep updating it to show different entertainment that's coming, and times, and dates, and things like that. So it's 80 nights through 92 days. Um, so you can get that full schedule on RacineZoo.org. Wow, that is, yes. sounds fantastic. Again, folks, it's called the, uh, the Racine uh, Zoo Lantern Festival, Racine, Wisconsin. We're going to talk to the boss right We're now. We're going to talk to the We're boss talk lady. To Beth, and she's <laughs> going to tell us all about the history and what you can find at the Racine Zoo. And we got the executive director of the Racine Zoo, Beth Hydron. How are you doing, Beth? Good, how are you? You know what? i got to talk to you. This zoo has been around for a long time. Tell me a little bit about the history. Well, the zoo uh, will be turning 100 in four years. We started in 1923 okay. at one of the parks in Racine, and we have been at our current location since 1926. It what seems I like. to be in a very interactive zoo. Like you can be like like 10 feet away from the animals. You I sure heard. can. Yes, it's a very interactive zoo. They don't really build those that way anymore, yeah. but we are adjusting our zoo to um, you know all the new rules and regulations, yeah. and we're AZA accredited. Uh, there's only about 232 zoos in the country that are. Let's say somebody from the UP in northern Wisconsin wants to go down and see your zoo. What's the number one thing why they should come to your zoo? Well, because we're amazing. Yeah! And we're a counterpart, um, and as the other zoo up here, which is wonderful, yes, yes, is yes. also AZA accredited. Yes. So it's kind of that kindred spirit. So I think that anyone who travels should visit uh, accredited zoos across the country and or aquariums. And the Lantern Festival, last, lastly, this is a pretty big thing, isn't it's it? It's a huge thing. It's a, it's a game changer for our zoo. We really want to showcase the Racine Zoo and to different audiences. And not everybody will come just because we're a zoo. So we found that out, and that's why we do a lot of events that, you know, we had uh, the 24th anniversary of a car show. So people that were coming to a car, truck, and bike show were like, wow, this is great. You're on Lake Michigan. Oh, there's a zoo here. And others that came to the zoo that day were like, oh, my gosh, you have a car show. So it's taking different um, likes and interests of people and getting them to understand the Racine Zoo that it's for all ages and all backgrounds and all interests. Uh, join them at the Racine uh, Lantern Festival. Again, what yeah. are the dates it runs through? We start October 1st, yep. and it goes through December 31st. 80 nights within those 92 days. Come on out multiple times. It's going to be great. Rain or snow? Rain or snow. All right. Racine Zoo. RacineZoo.org. Hey, join me next week as we bring you another creative person from Northeastern Wisconsin. <laughs> And it's snowing down there right now. Yeah, yeah so yeah. The, the Lantern Festival. They're still, it's still happening, though. That's right. Hey, let's get to right. my picks of the week. Lots of entertainment out there. Hey, number three, Flatfoot, Saturday night at the Lyric Room. These guys are fantastic. Get out there and uh, get some tickets. Blue Oyster Car Cult. More Cowbell, baby. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's right. Friday <laughs> night, they're going to be there at the Meyer Theater. And my buddies, Little Cisco, it's their CD release party at the Blue Opus. Thursday night, their first CD in over 10 years. And a uh, little uh, rhythm and blues out there. There. All, right. All right. Got a fever, and the cure is uh, franklygreenbay.com. That's right? right. Oh, that was good. I, I like it. it. I'm Thanks, use Frank. It. All right. <laughs>